All right, so since we are replacing where we're putting my windshield wiper fluid mount, um, I get a little bit of rubbing up here because I can't trim as much as I want to because the tank is right up in here. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and get this pulled out. Uh, so we're gonna pull the fender liner and then we're gonna be replacing it inside the hood. So Paul's gonna get the fender liner off and get that tank out. You know, if we pull the hose off right now, it's not going to do anything because it's not hooked up. You want to hook back up? Oh, we should just be able to pull the pump out. Um, but we need a bucket right here to catch all the fluid. You got your five gallon buckets anywhere? Oh, shit! You good? I hope this doesn't fill this bucket. Any on grip paper towel. Pull the pump, he said. It'll be fun, he said. Stop it! <laughs> Do you want to get a shot at the bolt I've missed? Yep. Probably the easiest one of them all. Right inside, right next to your little spout. Jesus. Alright, so this is our new windshield washer tank. Um, it's obviously not as big as the last one, um, but because of where it's going to be located, you're pretty much going to be able to see how full it is or not, so pretty easy. Um, the reason I wanted for this was because it's getting a lot of rubbing um, on the actual tank because of the size of my tires. And once I go to my wide body fenders, and bigger tires, I know I'm going to be making contact with it, so I just want to get it out of the way now. Um, so there's actually two plugs um, that were in the old tank, and uh, one of them we're going to cut the wires and splice our new controller into. The other one was just a little fill mechanism, um, so you can just kind of tape that off or uh, plug it back in and just set it up in there just so crud doesn't get in there, but it's not really needed. Um, so we're going to go ahead and splice these cables so over here. It's this plug right here. So we're going to go ahead and uh, cut those, wire it up to our new one. Alright, so last night we kind of took a pause for uh, installing this. Um, these screws that come with it don't really tap into metal, so I've got these uh, sheet metal tapping screws that we're going to use instead. I was going to put it here. But I feel like putting it to this is going to be better. It kind of puts the tank fill in a better spot and honestly almost puts it exactly where the old one was. So um, that's where I'm going to go ahead and screw my tank in. So, we have our tank mounted up, um, so it's right here. Uh, I just use a sheet metal tapping screw to get it into position. Um, so now the big thing is just uh, wiring up our new plug. And then doing all of our hoses, so I'm gonna show you how to do that. So here is our old plug. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, strip back some of this wiring to uh, get access at it. We're just going to take some uh, splices and 
crimp them on there. We're gonna take our new wires and pop them black to black, red to red. And we're just gonna put these back into this wire loom and then we're just gonna wrap it with some electrical tape and then uh, feed it up to the top. So we went ahead and uh, wrapped this and so now we're just gonna feed it up into the engine bay to our, um, our plug-in. Now we fed it up into the engine bay and it's just gonna plug in just like that. Put it down in there. So now, this is the hose that uh, feeds to both of our things. We're literally just gonna disconnect that from this pump and connect it to that pump. And just like that. We've swapped out our tank. So pretty simple. This is the old pump. Now we have a new tank and pump. So real simple plug and play. Um, the great thing about this kit, which I will post in the description, is I mean you could put it on anything. Let's for say for some reason you have a golf cart that has a windshield and you want to have uh, windshield wiper cleaners on it. You can literally buy this, connect it. It comes with the little nozzles. Or let's say for some reason the ones on your windshield wipers broke, you could literally add these into your hood and shoot it onto your windshield. So this is a nice, cheap, easy little kit. Um, comes with hosing, comes with a little button controller. So kind of everything you need to add this to anything, but I just wanted this to get it out of the wheel well so I wasn't rubbing on my tire. I mean, it's not huge, but this is gonna take a decent amount. About half the bottle, that's not bad. All right, and just like that, works like the factory one. So, um, like I said, I'll leave it in the description uh, for the kit, I got it on Amazon, uh, and hopefully this helps you out. I uh, hope this was helpful. I know it was just a quick and easy video, but uh, as always, like, share, subscribe. Uh, I'll see you in the next one.